Hey, what is going on everybody? So today I'm going to show you guys how you can screen mirror your Samsung Galaxy S phone or your Samsung Galaxy Dote phones. Simply by using a Wi-Fi, a dongle here, this is a Microsoft wireless display adapter. And basically what you do is you plug your HDMI port onto your back of your TV or your monitor or even your projector. And you also have a USB plug here to give this power. Doesn't matter if you have a smart TV or a non-smart TV, you're going to be able to screen mirror. Basically, whatever is on your Samsung Galaxy phone, you'll be able to um, mirror it onto your big screen. And take note that you know this is for the Samsung Galaxy S phones, like Samsung Galaxy S3, S4, S5, S6, S7, even the S8, S8 Plus, as well as the, as well as the Galaxy Notes. The thing is, if you have a Samsung Galaxy, um, like a J, I have this is a J5, I have a Samsung Galaxy J7 here as well. You're not going to be able to use this device to screen mirror because the Samsung Galaxy uh, J-series phones does not have a mirror cast feature. Does, it cannot screen mirror. If you, want to mirror. if you want to screen mirror a Samsung Galaxy J phone, then basically, I mean, your only choice is going to be using a Google Chromecast because it uses your, uh, your Wi-Fi network to mirror that image onto the screen. This here, using this, is a direct connection. It's a Wi-Fi direct, not a Wi-Fi network. So it's from phone to the device. And let's go ahead and put this set this up let me go ahead and plug this on the back of my tv all right so i just set it up hooked it up to the back of my tv now i'm going to grab my remote and i'm going to press on input or source i got to make sure it's under the correct hdmi port right now it says hdmi 3 i probably need to go to hdmi 2 so i'm going to go right there and i'm going to wait for the uh, microsoft wireless adapter uh, white splash screen pop up here all right, it's popping on, and there it is. So now it depends what phone you have. If you have like the S3, S4, S5, how you get to the screen mirroring is so. Here's my S5 here. This is the same with the S3 and S4. You just simply scroll down on your phone like that. Then you tap on the um, sorry, uh, scroll down, and then you want to tap on this top right hand icon, the square right there. Tap on that, and just look for something that's called screen mirroring right there and let it find your MS display adapter you can see that's connecting right now give it a second here and check it out now we are in business you can watch uh, Netflix uh, YouTube of course you watch Netflix or YouTube you do need to use your Wi-Fi network or you can even use your phone's mobile data if you don't need mobile data or wireless network you can still connect but then you're obviously you can the only thing you can do is uh, do whatever you can on your phone that doesn't require internet. Like if you want to project uh, your business PDFs or documents onto a big screen, or if you want to show people your photos and videos stored locally, you can um, display that on there as well. So here's the S5 here, and let me go ahead and just disconnect. So I'm just going to go back to the same thing, go to screen mirroring. I'm just going to tap on that, and then I'm going to OK it to disconnect. Now the thing is, if you're using the S6, Samsung changes the name around. It's not called it's not called screen mirroring. They change the name around, and it's actually called Smart View. So here's the Samsung Galaxy S6 here. Let me go ahead and open this up here. And for the S6, you want to scroll down, and then you want to tap on this down arrow right here. And now it's called Smart View right here. It says Smart View. Tap on that, let it connect now, give it a second, and bam, we are in business. Now let's move on to the uh, S7, because they changed it around again. So let me go ahead and click on this down arrow again. This down arrow, and let's go ahead and uncheck this smart view. Okay, now we're out. Let me grab my S7 here. And the S7, this is the updated Android version, the 7.0. And of course, they change everything around on this. So how you do this with the S7 is you scroll down again. And then you see these little, you see these little two horizontal lines like right up here. You just want to grab that and you want to slide that down. And now you want to look for SmartView. The thing is SmartView is not on here. The Android update to 7.0. 
there's another additional page here. So if I slide it over, now I will see Smart View right here. I will tap on that, watch the TV behind me, give it a second. And voila, and now we are in business. And from here we can watch um, YouTube, look at your photos and videos. Let me just pop on the camera here. If I pop on the camera, this is what it looks like. I can turn it in landscape mode here. And let me just show you what I'm looking at right now. I'm actually recording off my iPhone 7. <laughs> Well, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions or need any assistance, just comment below. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. And like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this too. All right? Thanks a lot. Bye.